Hello everyone. I look a little different. My hair is straight. Oh my gosh. Today, as you saw by the title, I'm hopping on the bandwagon guys. I'm doing my makeup and my outfit and my accessories and my hair the way I did it in high school. Unlike a lot of other YouTubers who are doing this tag, there is vivid documentation of me on this channel and how I did my makeup in high school. Can we take a look real quick? No, no, I just, no. We're going back to 2011. I thought to kick off the video, we would do a little accessorizing though. Not everything yet, but just a bit. I really loved, um, just piling on the bracelets. Whether the outfit called for bracelets or not, I added them. I also was a big fan of little hair clips and things from Mod Cloth. This was also around the time I first discovered thrifting. You'll probably find these in a thrift haul way back on my channel. I was very into the big grandma earrings. This is probably gonna give me an infection, but you know what? I love you guys and I'll do anything for you. That is so. That's so heavy. Doing it the most. You know what, let's use this little heart clip to keep my hair back, since I'm not gonna be using it at the end of this video. But I just thought with my little Zoe Deschanel bangs that I used to have that it just looked really cute. I went home and I picked up a bunch of makeup that I used to wear. I'm not gonna use all of it, but I just wanted to take a little trip down memory lane. Does anyone remember Coastal Scents? Because I still have this. This is a relic, guys. I can't get rid of this because, wow, it just means too much to me. Do I ever use this now? No, but you go back and you watch some tutorials on my channel, although some of them have been privated, but if you can find one, you bet your bottom dollar that it's got a Coastal Scents palette in it because everyone's did on YouTube. I found this ancient palette that no one ever really talked about on YouTube, but I used to go to Ulta and just see what was on sale in the like high-end makeup area and that's how I accumulated like higher end makeup because I saw everyone on YouTube using it. I did have YouTube as a resource when I was doing my makeup. I know a lot of people doing this challenge did not, but does that mean my makeup was any better? No, 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 no. These like 10 or $12 palettes from Stila that work like crap. I had this random thing, Ula Lift from Benefit. It does nothing. It literally doesn't do anything. And I'm gonna use it today. Baby lips, do they still make these? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest guys, like this is before I was into the whole cruelty free thing. So these are some like some naughty brands a little bit, but literally ancient stuff that I've just kept on hand. Let's go ahead and get into the makeup. Just like everyone else, on YouTube, I used to use the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation, even though it slides around, doesn't stay in place. It's pretty much no one's color. I also had some sort of Revlon foundation. Um, I did not buy foundation for this video. I didn't want to go out and buy stuff. I can't afford that like other YouTubers. So I found what I could from home and what I could not find we're gonna just work with today. So I have this Kat Von D concealer that's a couple shades too dark for me and that's what we're gonna use. And we are just gonna kind of make a makeshift foundation. I probably did know to blend it down to my neck but I didn't always do a perfect job so that's what we're gonna stick with. We're also gonna use Ula Lift by Benefit because this was something that was on sale so I bought it even though it does nothing and I still used it anyway. I also should not drag my finger in a triangle motion because I went back and watched some of my videos and all I did was like kind of smear it under my eyes. So as far as under eye concealer goes, I used to use this thing, I think it was from All May. It was like a squeezy tube brightening concealer. I'm just gonna use my normal concealer. This is the NYX, got you covered, but I'm not gonna do it in a triangle shape like I do usually now. We're just gonna concentrate it right here. All right, then I always use like the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, which I don't have, but like I said, I, well actually maybe I didn't say this, I did later on in my career use Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. So we're just gonna go back to that, you know? It's tried and true, very mattifying, gets the job done. I'm not gonna lie though, guys, I'm not big into all of the um, highlighting and stuff and contouring that people do now anyway. So like when I'm watching these videos and they're like, there was no contouring. There's 
there still isn't any contouring for me. I just, I haven't mastered it. I'm too lazy. It's just not happening. So, how did I do my eyebrows, you ask? Well, I simply took this, this is the same eyeshadow that I used. This is dark brown from NYX. I don't even think their packaging looks like this anymore. I hit pan, obviously. And I just took a little angled brush. I don't think I have the brush anymore, but it was from Walmart and it was just like a spoolie on one end and then an angled brush on another end. So I'll take this one from e.l.f. that I have. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. Oh, I forgot. One of my tutorials I was watching, I said, make sure you put concealer around your nose too. It makes a big difference. I don't know why I concealed around my nose because I didn't really, it didn't really do anything, but um, I'm gonna do what Tara of the past says to do. I mean, I guess it does make a difference, but Really all it did was end up creasing like beside my nose during the day. So that was really cute. A little bit more powder. <laughs> so now we're gonna do my brows. So I'm just gonna do the spoolie like I did. Just a little eyeshadow. Here, I should probably get a real mirror. <laughs> How about we use the Stila palette? This is also before I ever threaded my eyebrows, so the shape of them was slightly questionable. I don't even think I had heard of eyebrow threading at that point in time. All right, and that was it. Didn't do too much else, which I mean, I could do nowadays, but doesn't really stay all day, so I probably won't do that. Let's get into the eyeshadow, because I did act a fool and do just too much every single day. Here is the first ever eyeshadow that I bought. I still have it, and it is all that glitters ugh, from MAC. I bought this because I used to watch All That Glitters 21, was that her name? All That Glitters 21 on YouTube. I used to use a little teeny tiny sample of Urban Decay Primer Potion. I don't have it anymore. I don't really wear eyeshadow anymore, so I don't own a primer. I mean, I'll wear eyeshadow on occasion, but I usually now will just conceal my eyelids and then just go for it. I'm actually also gonna use Jest from MAC. Again, I apologize for the lack of cruelty-free products. So we're gonna start in the inner corner with this very shimmery shade that is probably not for someone my skin tone, but that's okay. I mean, you know what? It could be. I made it work, kind of. I'm also gonna go ahead and highlight the crap out of my brow bone because we were all about that halo brow effect back in the day. Oh yes, queen. I kind of missed that to be honest. I know that's like not cool anymore, apparently. All right. Wow, I always kind of brought it down a little too far. Now we're gonna go into all that glitters. And we're gonna pack that all over the lid. And I, I had to do a little something something on the eye every day. Let's go into the Coastal Sense palette. And we are gonna take, hmm, just a crease color. This guy, these guys look well loved. So I'm gonna go into those. We're just gonna mix them together. Tap off the excess. First, gonna just focus it out here and bring it in through the crease. I'm gonna use the pencil brush portion and we're gonna connect to the lower lash line. Just the outer half, kinda. I feel like I did more. I, I'm gonna darken it up, I think. I would use like a dark gray from MAC, which I don't know if I still have. Did I bring it with me? Oh, I still have it. Right here, this is print. I got this a little later in my makeup career, but I did enjoy using it just to darken everything up a little bit. Just right out there. I'll blend that out in a second. Then we're just gonna take the end of this, that's the blending brush, and blend it all out. We're just gonna bring a little bit more of that gray down here just to balance everything out. I have the same eyeliner that I used to use and look how short it is. I believe this is zero. Yes, zero from Urban Decay. It was one of their glide on pencils. I think they still make these. And I am about to tight line my eyes. Lord save me. Ugh. Give me a second. Mm. Ooh, okay, and then I'm, <laughs> sorry. Then I'm gonna just a little bit down here. I only did it on the outer lash line and waterline. 
just to really define those outer eyes. That's what I was all about, guys. And then I would either take that $1 eyeliner from e.l.f., which I stopped using because it gave me an eye infection. And then, speaking of eye infections, look, I still have black track fluid line from MAC, but we're gonna go into it with a MAC 211 brush. And this is how I used to do my wing. I'm immediately washing this stuff off my face once this video is over, guys, so don't get scared. Like, I hope I don't get a major infection from this video. I might, I'll probably break out like crazy, but. Ooh la la. I'm just way too lazy to like get a brush now to use a gel eyeliner, but they do do a pretty good job. Oh, gotta be careful. You always can start getting a little thick, you know? But I mean, I always ended up just letting it get getting thick and just sticking with that look. Okay, time to do the wings, guys. I'm still all about that wing, I'm not gonna lie. So that has not changed. I just feel like it was so much darker under my eyes though. So we're gonna keep putting that eyeliner in. Oh yes, we got it. I used to use either Full and Soft Mascara by Maybelline or L'Oreal Voluminous, neither of which I'm going to repurchase today. So this is e.l.f. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the kind that has one of those on the end. We're just gonna do some mascara real quick. So I almost forgot, I used to have this product, it was a sample that big of What's Up by Benefit. I don't have it anymore, so I'm going to take Jest from MAC because they were about the same color, and I almost forgot, I did used to highlight. So I really was doing the most then, and I don't do it anymore. Really, I was just kind of ahead of my time in a way, but I didn't really do anything that great. Like, really, I didn't need it because I already, I don't know, I just, I have oily skin and by the end of the day, it looks like I've just got a glow anyway. So it just, oh, that was way too much. It just, I felt like was overkill personally, but whatever. I was all about the rosy lip and the rosy doll cheek and I still have the blush that I used to use this is from essence this is in the color baby doll and honey I'm not gonna lie to you I still use this blush didn't bring it out here today but I have this in like the coral color same packaging I still use it sorry this looks like really bad but anyway here's the blush brush I always used to use from eco tools I don't reach for this much anymore it's a good blush blush brush though I just I have like a contoured one I like from elf better load it up looks good Still all about those bright colors on the lips. I was a big fan of this one. This is Femme from NYX. Hot Melon from NYX. I remember saying that name on this YouTube channel, Hot Melon, way back in the day. And this was one of the first ever lipsticks I bought and it was my favorite. So it's what we're going to use today. This is one of those Rimmel purple tubes. This is in the color Rose Blush. And you can see I liked it because this is all that's left, guys. But I've still got it. I used to think this was a My Lips But Better shade. It's not, it's just pink. And I was a big, 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 big fan of the NYX lip glosses. They smelled like pure candy. I thought I still had some, I unfortunately don't. I'm just gonna take this random one from Bare Minerals, pop some on. This smells good too though, it smells minty. And that is the finished look. This is how I would do my makeup. And now, without further ado, let's get into the hair. All right, I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna do this. I've watched some YouTube tutorials today on how to get fake bangs. One of them said just to pull your hair forward that you want to be bangs. Hold it there. Twist. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking a trip back through time, guys. All right, we're gonna call this a look. I think I'm getting it. Wow, I really want it to be like a super shimmery 1960s glowy Zoe Deschanel, a black Zoe Deschanel. Next, we are going to take this weird makeshift circle scarf I always used to wear 
And to top it all off, on my days off when I didn't have to go to school, I wore these beanies that like sit at the back of your head. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm 17. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so youthful. She's the best that I've ever seen. Turning heads like the pages in a magazine. She's so fine. So oh, let's not bring this back. <laughs> But anyway, thank you all very, very much for watching this video. I hope it brought back some memories for you if you have been watching this channel since it was called Beauty Junkies because this, this is, I think this is literally how I used to look on this channel. Like, I'm just, okay. I'm just so beyond right now. <laughs> thank you all very, very much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>